as we have seen habit one says you can take charge of your life you no longer need to leave the script handed to you by other people you can write your own script you can be proactive habit two says write your own script which contains your deepest values and your vision of life habit three is living your script in day-to-day -day life habit two formulates your mission statement what kind of person you want to be what achievements you want to accomplish Habit 3 tells which actions you need to take in everyday living to accomplish these most important things. Habit 3 is practicing effective self-management. Your independent will makes that effective self-management possible. To be an effective manager of yourself, your independent will will produce discipline to follow your own deep values. It will provide the will, the integrity to subordinate your feelings, your impulses, your moods to those values. Self-management means how we manage our activities and time. Two factors that define an activity are urgent and important. Urgent means it requires immediate attention. It's now. Urgent things act on us. A ringing phone. Car running out of fuel. Urgent matters are usually visible. They press on us, they insist on action. They are usually right in front of us and often they are pleasant, easy and fun to do, but so often they are unimportant. Importance on the other hand has to do with results. If something is important, it contributes to your mission, your values, your high priority goals. We react to urgent matters. Important matters that are not urgent require more initiative, more proactivity. Habit 2 gives us clear idea of what is important to us, what results we desire in our lives. Look at the four quadrants in time management matrix. All activities fall under any of four quadrants. Quadrant 1 activities are urgent and important. It deals with significant results that require immediate attention. We usually call the activities in quadrant 1 crisis or problems. We all have some quadrant one activities in our lives, but quadrant one consumes many people. They are crisis managers, problem-minded people, the deadline-driven producers. As long as you focus on quadrant one, it keeps getting bigger and bigger until it dominates you. There are many people who spend a great deal of time in urgent but not important quadrant three, thinking they are in quadrant one. They spend most of their time reacting to things that are urgent, assuming they are also important. But the reality is that the urgency of these matters is often based on the priorities and expectations of others. While quadrant 4 contains excessive pleasure and fun-driven activities, people in this quadrant live irresponsible lives. Effective people stay out of quadrant 3 and 4 because urgent or not, they are not important. They also shrink quadrant 1 down to size by spending more time in quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 is the heart of effective personal management. It deals with things that are not urgent but are important. It deals with things like building relationships, long-term planning, exercising, Preventive maintenance, preparation, all those things we know we need to do but many times neglect because they are not urgent. If you could think about any one thing that if you could do on a regular basis would make tremendous difference in your life, it would be a thing in quadrant 2. The only place to get time for quadrant 2 in the beginning is from quadrant 3 and 4. You have to be proactive to work on quadrant 2. To say yes to important quadrant 2 priorities, you have to learn to say no to other activities. We say yes or no to things daily. A center of correct principles and focus on our personal mission empowers us with wisdom to make these judgments effectively. Many people think their lack of discipline is the problem. But the basic problem is that their priorities have not deeply planted in their hearts and mind. They haven't internalized the habit too. According to focus is a paradigm that grows out of a correct center. 
if you are centered on your spouse your money your friends your pleasure or any extrinsic factor you will keep getting thrown back into quadrant 1 and 3 reacting to the outside forces your life is centered on if your priorities grow out of a correct center and a personal mission if they are deeply planted in your heart and in your mind you will see quadrant 2 as a natural exciting place to invest your time quadrant 2 organizing involves four key activities identifying roles selecting goals scheduling and daily adapting for more details we strongly advise you to read this book seven habits of highly effective people please hit the like button share and subscribe and don't forget to watch a new video every wednesday thank you